Hello everybody, this is Bad Wolf. Over the course of the past few days, I have been getting messages on Nexus asking for my copy of my ported version of Males of Skyrim. And then in the last couple of messages, um, people have asked me how they can go about doing it because they seem to be messing up. First off, I'm not going to share it um, because if you look at on the screen for Males of Skyrim, uh, I know Aberyn has not been on line for two years, but still, I have I've, I've sent him a message over a week ago. Haven't got a reply. I don't expect a reply, but that still doesn't mean that I'm free to. Uh, move it to move my ported version to special edition and here's the reason why under the permissions and you'll see a lot of red X's and uh, yellow warning question uh, exclamation po uh, marks but look at the files file credits all these people creators right here go into this work and if you look at the top one it says other users assets those are all the assets he used in order to create males of Skyrim and it says you need to seek permission from these authors before you can use their assets that is a lot I'm not going to do that I'm keeping it for keeping it personally but I am going to show you how to convert it properly Forgive me if I ramble on. I'll try to keep this as short as possible. Okay. Go to Males of Skyrim. In the LE, obviously, version of uh, Skyrim Nexus mods. You do not want the BSA version unless you want to unpack, change it, then repack it. You want the lo loose version. You'll click on Manual Download. Yes, I know I'm going through the steps. Um, you save file. I've got my own little folder already set up for it. And it's in downloads. MOS conversion. And as you can see, I already have it. So I'm going to cancel that. And then you're going to go to um, the special edition mods. For Nexus, and you're going to get SSE NIF optimizer. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to manually download it into uh, a folder. I suggest you create a folder either on your desktop or in your downloads. Uh, I named mine MOS conversion. You can name it whatever you want. I don't care. But anyway, once you have those two downloaded, you're going to unpack them with whatever utility you have. I have 7-zip. I also have Win WinRare. But um, yeah, Nexus Mod Manager has been having a little issue, have, has been having some issues with WinRare, so I got rid of it. Okay, so you're going to unpack Mails of Skyrim Loose. Go ahead and extract it into a folder right here in this uh, folder and you're going to do the same with the NIF optimizer so let's take a look inside the folder of Mails of Skyrim you've got meshes textures and then of course the ESP the meshes you're going to click on that meshes actors character face gen data face geometry Hearth, Fire, CSM, and there's two NIF files right there. And in Skyrim ESM, you have other NIF files. Now each one of these numbers, these letters and numbers, NIF files, relates to the form ID of that particular MPC. So that's what's all the NIF files in, in that one in, in meshes for uh, face gen data. 
Now, uh, go back to character and you have MS. You have body. Oops. You have body. This is just the body and the feet. Nifs. And then the hair. You have all of these different hairs with, with the trifolders. Now, here's the thing you need to know. When you're working with NIF Optimizer, and uh, real quick, let me open that up. And I'm going to double click to start it up. Now, when you're looking at NIF Optimizer, everything is checked except for head parts only. This is very important that you know about head parts only. When you are going to port a mod that has to deal with hair, eyes, mouth, and the head of follower or MPC replacer or anything to that, that, to that. you want to check on head parts only. And those are the only files you're going to be scanning is things that are related to the head of the MPC or the follower. When you're doing armor conversions or body conversions or clothing conversions or weapon conversions, uncheck head parts only because it won't do you any good and it won't, well, I don't know. I can't say it won't optimize if you have head parts only, but it's it, it may not. I haven't tried it because I know not to do that. I'm just letting you know, by the way. Okay, so I have NIFT Opti Optimizer open, but still, I need to go back to Males of Skyrim, Meshes, Actors, Character, MS. This folder right here that says Hair. I want to move it out of that uh, MS folder because it deals with the head parts. So I'm just going to drag it and move it into character. Now you see it's out here. Okay. Now, to optimize the textures. NIFT Optimizer is open. I'm going to go ahead and click head parts only. I'm going to browse and it's in the NIFT optimizer folder. That's where the it opens up to. I'm going to click MOS conversion, Males of Skyrim loose, meshes, actor, character. Click one time on face gen data. Select folder. Right now it's going to be converting Face gen data. See how it's just chosen that one? Optimize. And as you can see, it's going through all of those. And it's the head parts only. And it's it's finished. Now I'm going to go back one and I'm going to click one time to activate hair. Select a folder, optimize. Now it's going through all of the hair um, NIFs, and there's tri files in there as well. That's done. Now we've got the rest of the body to deal with. So I'm going to browse one more time. I'm going to go back to character. Now I'm going to click on MS and one time on body. Select the folder, optimize. That quick, it's done. Just, oh, and I did the wrong thing. I left head parts only on. See, that's exactly what I did not want to do. I'm going to uncheck it, and I'm going to browse again, and I'm going to go back once, MS, click one time on body, select the folder, and I'm going to optimize again just to be on the safe side that I did not screw this up. But please try to remember 
uncheck head parts only before you work on uh, optimizing the body parts. That is a must. I didn't do that. That was my stupid mistake. Don't make the same mistake I did. Okay, now that I'm done with that, we'll, we'll scan textures real quick. In order to do that, just get, click on Scan Textures. Now we're going to go back all the way to Males of Skyrim uh, version 1.3 Loose. One click on Textures. Select the folder. There we go. It just scanned all the textures. No issues were detected. We're good to go. Now you can go ahead and you can close NIF Optimizer, unless of course you have others you're going to do. Now we still have to put this folder back into MS where it belongs. And there you go. That's where it was originally and now it's back in there. Now I'm going to go back out to the Males of Skyrim and there you have the meshes texture and the ESP. And now I'm back to the folder where it has it in there. What I suggest is if you know how to manually load the files into the game, go right ahead and do that. I myself, just to make it, just to pref I prefer to go ahead and repack it as a zip, 7 zip file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add two letters SE to this. Then I am going to archive it and right now it's making it into an archive. And once that's done, I'm going to load it into Nexus Mod Manager. I still use that. I'm not switching to Vortex. I tried Mod Organizer and Mod Organizer 2. Didn't like it. Uh, I'm sticking with NMM, NMM because I have so many MPC replacers that when I go to load them up, I can with the with the correct with the knowledge of knowing which NIF is being loaded, I can load that per, that replacer only from that from one mod, and then from another mod load that replacer. It goes on from there. I'm creating a spreadsheet currently uh, that has a lot of MPC replacers over different mods and uh, I will be posting that on my friend's web page. I'm friends with Shaken and he has his own web page shaken-mods.com. We promote freedom of modding and anything goes there. We just don't use other people's mods and load it on there without permission. And currently I am creating a follower mod that I am writing the dialogue to and we have wonderful mod creators on, uh, on our Discord channel for Shaken Mods that is doing um, the scripting of it. Uh, is doing uh, the um, other types of um, things to it. Forgive me, my brain is blanking out on me right now. And I have a voice actor, and she is going to be doing the, uh, the, the main character's voice. But that will be coming out soonish. I haven't written a lot yet, but I'm getting there. Anyway, I'm sorry, I rambled on a little bit too much. Now that that's converted, it's right there. It's packed up in the 7-zip file. Good to go. Add it to your, mod, uh, to your mod organizer, and you're done. Sorry for rambling on, but uh, I just like to make things a little bit clear, and then I embellished a little bit at the end about promoting ShakenMods.com. Um, go there. Join Shaken Mods, and you'll have the freedom, you'll have the freedom to get mods that are not allowed on Nexus, not allowed on Lover's Lab or whatever it's called. 
because they don't like us. But anyway, go there. And I will talk to you guys whenever I talk to you again. Thank you for listening. This is Bad Wolf. I'm out.